invent a weevil invent a weevil sounds so sick but it, would you i don't think that many people would actually do it here listen if you want to invent a weevil and submit it to me if i get enough submissions i'll make a video this is max fosh and this is a youtuber i actually watch my grandmother likes max fosh videos because he just does silly stuff so i actually watch all of this guy's youtube videos i've watched i mean you can you can probably go to his page. I can prove it. Instead of me just saying this, I mean, look, look at the red on all of the videos. I've watched a lot of his videos. You can see about when I started watching. Un unironically, the first time I watched him was when he caught a fish from the most polluted river in the world. But yeah, he's caught. I've watched a lot of his videos, so I swear I'm not just blind reacting, taking advantage. He does a little bit of silly stuff. I saw this video and I was like, I have to react to this one on stream. I'm not going to, you know, spoil this one for myself. So I have not watched this video. Uh, a lot of people have recommended it to me. He hatched a fish from supermarket caviar. Do I believe that this is actually possible? Probably not. I think just, you know, going in for the first place, supermarket caviar usually has a lot of like preservatives and such you know things like that in it that would probably prevent the eggs from being viable um but i think there are like pure caviar alternatives so i think if you bought one online like pure caviar thing you might be able to hatch a fish from it i'm unsure i don't know the exact details i would doubt though that you could do it from any supermarket caviar but let's find out this is me getting handsy with a male fish, extracting some of his... There we go. ...juices. That's him done. I had driven a number of hours for this date, all in the name of caviar. Caviar, or fish eggs, are a favourite snack of posh people. But instead of eating these fish eggs, I've always wondered if I could turn one of them into a fish. We have life! And this was an idea that I kind of had as I was walking home. Where's the caviar? Hello. Do you have any caviar? This one. Yeah, can we get some of that, please? It's kind of like a series on YouTube. Well, people make videos in which they hatch eggs from supermarket. You know, a lot of quails have been hatched. Why has no one ever done- Wait, so are quail eggs that they sell at the supermarket viable? How are they hatching quail? Because at the point that a- Okay, like a fish egg is one thing because fish eggs are intended to be fertilized from that egg state. How do you fertilize a quail egg or is the quail egg actually viable? Is that a thing? There's a Filipino- food, if you want to call it that, um, where they take, uh, like eggs that have a fetus in them and eat that. I guess you could probably hatch one of those. Yeah. You could probably hatch one of those. I don't know. Done it with caviar. They're fish eggs. Surely, bit of biology, you're gonna have yourself a fish. What I remember from school, fish squirt lots of eggs, squirt lots of sperm, mixy mixy in the river in the pond, then you have lots of little baby fish. So I think that's the plan. I've done no that's pretty impressive. That's more than most people would remember from school. He knows that they they just have a giant orgy of sperm and eggs just thrown out into the water and whatever happens ha for most fish. I mean, some fish are more choosy about their, you know, mating preference, but for most fish, they're just throwing stuff into the water. Also, this is a horrifying face. I've that was the on. research other than that. The biggest problem that I have is that currently these are unfertilized. I need to fertilize them. So, and I can't believe I'm about they're to say- They're also covered in preservatives. Beyond the fact that they are unfertilized, there's the problem of that any chance of them being viable is probably long gone by the things that they put in that to keep them alive in a can because if you just put fish eggs in a can they would decay pretty quickly. Fish sperm, also known as milt, was actually a delicacy in some countries. In the course of the last 25 minutes I've become an expert in <laughs> all things jizz. I've had trouble with trying to find the actual sperm. Hiya! Milt sounds like Aussie slang. No we use it here. Not often. Usually you'll just say fish sperm but we, we've said milt before. I'm just calling, do you happen to have any milk? Milk? Hello? It's fish sperm. No, sorry, I don't have that. You, okay. Do you want to check in the back? I, I think you can get it from Frozen. Right. I was trying to... Are these AI generated fishmongers? Is that what these images are? This guy looks AI generated. I continued my search over the next few weeks and after a while one thing became clear. If I was to find the best of the best milt, I would need to go directly to the source. I have a slightly larger question, which is how do you get the milt? Do I need to pleasure a fish? Well, this is the person that will be answering that question. 
It's actually quite easy. When a fish is full of sperm, you can literally just, like, poke the underside in almost any area, and it'll just fly out. I mean, they're, like, loaded up. Meet Simon. Hello. Nice to meet, nice you. To meet you. How are you doing? Very good, thank you. A fish farmer and our sperm provider for the day. And as it turns out, the answer to the question is yes. I would... Why do you know that? Because I have been, um... Sounds like my boyfriend. Sorry. Um, I have been, uh, um, what's the, what's a good word for this? It has happened where, you, you know, I, I go into the wild and I catch fish and I, you know, pull them out in a net and sometimes I, you know, I pick them up, put them in my hand, so forth. Things happen. That's the extraction all the semen myself. So at this time of the what year, Max, they're obviously very charged up. It's no different to you being 18 and going out for a pint or two with your mates. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, but eventually the moment arrived. So, are we going to squeeze the sperm out of him? That's <laughs> yes, exactly what you are going to do. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure about this, but if I was to have my fish, I need to do the business. Because Sounds about right. There's, just go yeah. down the flanks. It is a mirror carp. So this guy's raising mirror carp, presumably for meat then. So mirror carp are like common carp or European carp or whatever, where they've been selectively bred to not have very many scales on them, so that they're easier to descale when people want to eat them. They're like ancient, and at this point, I think they're an entire subspecies of common carp. So that's interesting. I'm noticing a problem, though. This is a mirror carp, common carp, whatever. There's no way the caviar that he brought at the supermarket is carp. Carp caviar, I think it exists, but it's not like a common thing. At the supermarket, you're probably getting, what, like sturgeon caviar for the most part? So if he somehow puts carp sperm with sturgeon eggs and creates a fish. I'm gonna go a big doubt on this video. Oh, a little tiny bit, a little bit there. There we go. Okay, so that's him done. Oh, done buddy. <laughs> and just like that, I had some fresh fishy- I thought that was for stocking fishing lakes. They would probably not stock mirror carp. There's no reason to go through the extra effort of having the breed of mirror carp to stock them in lakes. But maybe they do, I don't know life juice that would hopefully be enough to fertilize. I don't know anything about Europe, because in, in, in America, the uh, common carp are invasive. In Europe, they're, like, vulnerable or endangered. So, and I don't actually know. They probably treat the fish way differently than we do. Fertilize my caviar. Oh, Jesus. The next step, the fertilization. But before then, a short lesson in fish biology. The more aquatically Where? inclined members of you in the fosh pit may have noticed that the original caviar that I purchased was from a sturgeon. Which one? Ideally, a sturgeon. But the daddy sauce that now resided in my fridge Mirror was from a carp. Can you buy carp caviar? Yeah. By this point of the day, I've seen quite a lot of carp caviar. <laughs> so not only did I have to source some carp caviar, I had to splurge okay. in some of the pricier stuff. The okay, at least it wasn't... If it is fake, it's better faked than uh, just combining sturgeon eggs and carp, carp sperm. That's good. More organic bits, as according to Simon, cheaper, more processed varieties wouldn't work. Does it look like some good? He also talked about the fact that they're processed. Okay, so he's he's trying to go for the most like purified. Car he found he's going for carp eggs, and he's going for the least preserved thing. It, yeah. He is doing the most convincing job that he could. I still think it's highly unlikely that a fish comes out of this process. But if he got an unpreserved carp egg and combined it with carp sperm, you know, common carp egg, common carp sperm, who knows? Eggs. And even then, he didn't really fancy my chances. A big carp might produce a million eggs and not a single fish survives the week. So There's... it's quite unlikely to hatch fish from caviar. You could be the man. <laughs> OK. But we're all about silly hops. <laughs> That's a fisherman's way of saying, yeah, no, this shit ain't happening. If you could be the man here on the channel, so I just I've said that so many times. Not that exact phrase, but I've people will be like, I'll be like, oh, I bet there's there's brook trout in this creek, and I'll be like, yeah, no, I don't think there's gonna be any brook trout in here. And he's like, watch, I'm gonna catch them. I'll be like, you could prove me wrong. You could, you know, <laughs> they never do. But after two days of waiting, nothing. So it's not looking good. Yeah, it's not a plant, bro. It's an egg and sperm. They're usually attached to plants underwater. I mean, I think that's probably just going to get boiled alive. In I tried sun. my best, but to no avail. Not much is happening. Despite following Simon's instructions to a T. I thought if you put 50 in there Great. and you keep that on your window, so there's every chance they'll hatch. And then you'll feel really guilty if they don't. Yeah, what happens if they don't? If they don't? If they don't? If they don't? I, I'm gonna try this once more, but I've hardly got any sperm left. 
I've literally got, that is how much sperm I have. I think the direct sunlight was, was a bad idea. I might have, have inadvertently cooked my eggs. Yep. Put a tiny amount of eggs in. Wonderful. Mix. Mix. We have, we have life. Wow. We have a lot of life. Holy crap. Like, a good 50% of the eggs are fertilized. All of those little black dots are eyes on the, the forming babies. Not only does he have one that's already hatched. What is carp? I don't know their egg period. 32 hours sounds about right for some an egg to go from fertilized to larval fish. But this is very impressive. I mean, it seems unlikely that this part is fake to me. Like... There are certain, like, if he, if he had come back and there was just one little fish swimming around, I would say it might be fake. But the fact that there's a shitload of viable eggs in this container... Eh? Look at that! Says four days for a common carp egg to hatch. I don't fully believe that. <laughs> uh, it's possible, though. I'm not sure. It definitely seems like a short period to go from fertilization from egg, 32 hours, but who knows. <clears throat> I'm not sure how you could obtain a tiny carp so it could be real. Well, he literally just went to a carp farm, didn't he? Where the guy said he had seen tons of carp caviar and carp sperm. So he could have just been given carp eggs and sperm by that place rather than actually using caviar that he bought online. I mean, that seems much more likely to me. That, I mean, it doesn't mean that he didn't hatch a fish, but yeah, it seems more likely to me that he just used the sperm from the... Because here's another thought, right? I know it's a subspecies, but is the carp caviar that you buy online going to be from a mirror carp or from a, like a common carp, a non-mirror carp? And if it's a common carp mom with the caviar that you buy and then the sperm are coming from a mirror carp, is the baby going to be a mirror carp or a common carp? I don't know. A lot of interesting questions here. They're the same species, so theoretically there's nothing wrong with it, but I'd be curious what happens. <laughs> Life. The eggs had successfully fertilized and we had some- If it comes out completely a mirror carp, I'm going to be a bit suspicious that he just took the eggs from that farm. Fry, or newly hatched fish. When they first hatch their fry, they are literally that big. But this was only the beginning. Over the following days, I tended to the fry like a protective mother. Let's check on the fish. I could see them attempting to break three of their eggy cages until one emerged as the strongest of the bunch. Our fry has grown into that little guy. I would call him Max Fish. And I feed him with this, which is essentially just like tiny, tiny bits of plankton. Can't see why I literally just saw him eat one. It's absolutely tiny. But he was a hungry little lad and these things grow fast. Little Max Fish outgrew his Tupperware container. Look at him. He's so big Jesus. now. Until finally, he needed a real upgrade. Our little friend has been living in this box, but I felt a bit bad. So I got him a new home. Look at that. That's a mirror carp, right? Oh, bless Yeah, it. that's a mirror carp, not a common carp. So it doesn't have any skills. So it is theoretically possible that if you buy carp caviar online and it's a common carp, mixed with a mirror carp that the baby comes out mirror carp you know genetics mix like that but i would think that that would be a low percent chance and that combined under the low percent chance of already hatching something from caviar that you got online unless it was incredibly fresh seems incredibly unlikely to me my guess is that he just took the eggs from that farm and hoped to he wouldn't notice that it didn't come from the caviar he bought online still hatched a fish though so pretty cool tomorrow I'm setting Max Fish free in the wild. I've had him in the flat for a number the mirror of months, carp free in the and wild. he's thrived. But now it's time to set him free, let him go. This has been a long video. After months of preparation, studying, feeding, and rearing, it was time to give back to the world, from which I had taken away. Gosh, you're quite emotional about it. See you later, buddy. Say your goodbyes. It's too hard. <laughs> time to say goodbye. And you get, well, I think he knows what's going on. Come on, old pal. Good man. Ah. There you go. I remember when you were just a mere egg. Come on, give me a cuddle. Give me a cuddle. Good boy. Proceeds to release invasive carp. Nah. Oh, they are not native to the UK? Oh. <laughs> I, was, I know they're native to Europe, but if they're not native to the UK, then, yep, that's an invasive boy. species. And it was time for Max Fit. Wait, is he, is he recording himself committing eco-terrorism?
fish to live out to the rest of off. his days in a friend's pond. What? <laughs> he's putting him in a pond? He just said release into the wild. Okay, well, at least he's not committing eco-terrorism. Whatever. Maybe he, maybe he lied about, you know, the, where he sourced the eggs from and it not actually being caviar, but at least, <laughs> you know. Come on. They were introduced in the medieval ages. Ah. Oh. Ah, are they really invasives at that point? Kneecap. Go and be free. Why would you throw it in the air? What? After all- Finn. After all you've been through, you threw him- You kissed him, held him out of the water, and threw him in- That's crazy. Alright, anyways. Good video by Max Wash. Oh yeah, it reminds me of the dude who's like, here, is, is it Missouri? Is it Mississippi? What is the, oh, I forget what he says. Is it North Carolina? I think it's North Carolina. He's holding a sunfish. He's like, y'all, we're going to give him a nice, safe release. You know, here in North Carolina, we like to respect wildlife. Backflip. <laughs> Throws the fish in the air. Uh, fire. That's a good video. It was an enjoyable video. I am suspicious of the actual contents, but ah oh well. What's the final ruling? I'm gonna say that he probably got the eggs from the same person he got the sperm from. And he didn't actually buy caviar online. Or maybe he bought caviar from that guy and asked him not to put any sort of preservative in it. Because there's no way they would sell any caviar without any preservative in it. Because it would only last a day, maybe. You would have to get it from out of the fish to your door within a day. It's like, you know. Whoa.